Now we have these two expressions here. And we need to divide x cube plus 15x square plus 60x by x square plus 10x. So what is the first step? We have learnt that the first step is to factorize these two and cancel out the common factors. So from the numerator and denominator we can take x common. So we can take x common and write it as x square plus 15x plus 60. From the denominator as well we can take x common and write it as x plus x into x plus 10. Now we cancel out this x and we are left with x square plus 15x plus 60 divided by x plus 10. Now try and factorize x square plus 15x plus 60. You will not be able to factorize it further. So we cannot factorize x square plus 15x plus 60 further. So we don't have any further common factors between the numerator and the denominator. But it is still in the division form. So we need to divide it further. How do we divide it? Now, after cancelling out the common factors, if we still have it in the division form, we divide it by long division method. So let us divide these two by the long division method. So x square plus 15x plus 60 is divided by x plus 10. So like in arithmetic, we, re we write x square plus 15x plus 60 here and x plus 10 here. This is the dividend because it is divided and this divides so it is the divisor. So dividend is what is being divided and it is the divisor. So we write this here and this here. Also note that we have to write both the expressions in the decreasing order of the power of the terms. So x has power 2 x has power 1 here and x has power 0 here. So we need to write it in the decreasing order of the power of the variables. Even for the divisor, we need to write it in the decreasing order of the power of the variable. So we write x to the power 1 and this is a constant term. So we write it at the end. Now let us start dividing it. So the first step while dividing it is to consider the first term of the dividend and the divisor. So we consider the first term of the dividend and the first term of divisor which is x square and x. Now divide x square by x. So we divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. How, do, how should you remember it? This expression is divided by this expression. So divide the first term of this expression by this, the first term of this expression. So we divide x square by x. And what is x square divided by x? It is x. So x square divided by x gives us x. This x now becomes the first term of the quotient. So this x is the first term of the quotient. So we have got the first term of our quotient. Now the next step is to multiply the entire divisor that is x plus 10 with what we have got here. So we need to multiply x plus 10 with x and write it here. So x plus 10 into x is x into x gives us x square x into 10 gives us 10x. So we write it here. We get x square plus 10x. Now these two terms should match. Why should they match? We have divided this by this to get this. Now we have multiplied this and this to get this. So these two terms should match. That is they should always cancel out. Now, like in normal division in arithmetic, we subtract it. So we change the sign. We subtract it. And since these two terms should be the same, these two should cancel out. 
the second term 15x minus 10x gives us 5x and we take the 60 down so 5x plus 60 so this is 5x plus 60 now we need to divide 5x plus 60 by x plus 10 5x plus 60 should be divided by x plus 10 so we repeat the same process what is the process take the first term of this and the first term of this that is 5x and x divide 5x by x so we divide 5x by x and get 5 so 5x by x gives us 5 and it becomes the second term of the quotient so 5 is the second term of the quotient we get plus 5 here now the next step is to multiply this entire divisor with what we have got now that is 5 so you need to multiply this by 5 only and not the entire thing remember x plus 10 should be multiplied by 5 and we write it here so 5 into x gives us 5x 5 into 10 gives us 50 so we get 5x plus 50 again these two are the same so we are proceeding in a correct manner so 5x and 5x we, we've got the same thing now subtract it so change the sign 5x minus 5x is cancelled 60 minus 50 gives us 10 now we need to divide this by this so take the first term that is 10 and divide it by the first term which is x so we have 10 by x but we cannot divide 10 by x it is not divisible so we cannot divide it further so we stop here so 10 remains as the remainder so this is the remainder of this division and x plus 5 is the quotient of this division we stop when we cannot divide it further in general we stop when the degree of what is remaining or what is left here is less than the degree of the divisor the degree of the divisor in this case is 1 because the highest power of x is 1 what is the degree of this it is a constant term so the degree of this is 0 now 0 is less than 1 so we stop here whenever we get an expression here which has degree less than that of the divisor we stop and take this remaining part as the remainder this is the quotient and this is the remainder so now let us divide these two expressions can we divide it in this form in which it is written no we first need to arrange the terms in the decreasing order of the power of the variable so we need to write x cube first then x square then x and then the constant term so we have rearranged this in the decreasing order of the power of the variables and now we write it in the division form so we need to divide this expression by this expression now can you tell me what will be the first term of this division now this expression is divided by this expression so we divide the first term of this by this so we divide x cube by x and we get x square so the first term of this division will be x square the first term of the quotient will be x square so we write x square here what is the next step we have to multiply x square with the divisor so we multiply x square by x minus 8 x square into x is x cube x square into negative 8 is negative 8 x square this is what we have now we need to subtract it this should get cancelled out and it is getting cancelled out 
negative 15 x square plus 8 x square gives negative 7 x square and we take this so this is what we have now this has to be divided by this so we divide the first term of this by this so negative 7 x square is divided by x negative 7 x square divided by x gives us negative 7 x so this becomes the second term of our quotient negative 7 x So x square minus 7x is the quotient which we have got till now. Now we need to multiply this by negative 7x. Remember we also need to consider this negative sign. So multiply x minus 8 by negative 7x. Negative 7x into x is negative 7x square. Negative 7x into negative 8. Here also you need to consider the sign. So negative 7x into negative 8 gives plus 56x. And we need to subtract it now. So we change the sign. Negative becomes positive. Positive becomes negative. We change the sign and subtract it. 7x square negative 7x square and plus 7x square get cancelled negative 6x and negative 56x give negative 62x and we take this plus 496 so this is what we have negative 62x plus 496 now divide the first term by the first term so negative 62x divided by x gives negative 62. This becomes the third term of the quotient, negative 62. Now multiply the divisor with negative 62. So negative 62 into x gives negative 62x. Negative 62 into negative 8. We get a plus sign and 62 into 8. 8 into 2, 16. 8 into 6, 48. Plus 1, 49. So we get 496. So this is what we have. Now we need to subtract it. Negative 62x plus 62x gets cancelled. 496 minus 496 gives 0. So we get 0 as the remainder. So in this case, the quotient is x square minus 7x minus 62 and the remainder is 0. Now let us solve one more example. Divide x cube plus 3x minus 3x square plus 7 by 5 plus x square minus 4x. So again we need to rearrange the terms in the decreasing order of the power of the variables. So first consider the numerator. We have to write this first, then this, then this, then this. And in the denominator we have to write x square minus 4x plus 5. So we have rearranged the numerator and the denominator. Now we need to divide this by this. So x cube minus 3x square plus, 7, plus 3x plus 7. Divided by x square minus 4x plus 5. Divide the first term of this expression by the first term of this expression. x cube divided by x square. So x cube divided by x square gives you x. This is the first term of the quotient x. So this is what we have. Now this divisor has to be multiplied with x. So x into x square gives x cube. x into negative 4x gives negative 4x square. x into 5 gives 5x. 
So we have got this. Now subtract. Change all the signs. We change all the signs. These two should cancel out. And it is indeed getting cancelled. Negative 3x square plus 4x square. Gives me x square. 3x minus 5x gives me negative 2x. And I take this plus 7. So this is what we have. Now divide the first term by the first term. x square divided by x square. So x square divided by x square will give me 1. So we have a plus 1 here. x plus 1. Now multiply this by 1. So we get x square minus 4x plus 5. This is what we have. Now change the sign that is subtracted. x square and x square get cancelled. Negative 2x plus 4x give 2x. 7 minus 5 gives plus 2. So we get 2x plus 2. Now should we divide it further? Note that the degree of this expression is 1. The degree of this is 1 because the highest power of x is 1. So the degree is 1. What is the degree of this expression? It is 2. So we have got the degree of this as less than the degree of divisor. So we cannot divide it any further. So 2x plus 2 is the remainder and x plus 1 is the quotient of this division. So we stop here and we get this as the quotient and this as the remainder of this division.